off. And so niggas don't understand me. But hey, man, you a bitch ass nigga if you don't understand me after I explain this. All right. Imagine this, man. UGK was my favorite group ever. Pimp C was my favorite rapper. UGK was my favorite group. But it was because of Pimp C. So I finally get the Pimp C, right? I'm going to buy me a mm-hmm. feature. I'm just trying to go spend my little money, get my feature, and go home. The man hit me. He, I, I was too nervous to even rap in front of him that first night. So I gave him his money. He wanted to hear me rap so bad, he made me miss my flight the next day, go to Port Arthur with him, see his parole officer, and took me to the studio. Soon as I dropped my verses on True Story, the nigga gave me all my money back and told me I was with him. Okay, so right there, my mind just blown. I Shit, in my mind, I made it. I ain't, yeah, I wouldn't worry about no Sony, Universal, none of that shit. What you say, nigga? I'm with you. Nigga, that's, t- for me, that was better than any Sony. Sony, Universal, Warner Brothers, any of that, nigga, I'm with my motherfucking music, you know, my idol as far as this music shit go. Okay, so then he moves me in with him. When I get there, what I just told y'all, UGK was my favorite group. It was because Mm -hmm. of Pimp C, but that was my favorite group. So how y'all think I felt when I got there and I seen that? Hmm. They always saying, big bro, little bro. What you mean y'all ain't talking? What you mean, bun a bitch? What you mean he a hoe? Yeah, and I'm living with him. The one and only time I ever heard Pimp talk on the phone with Bun. I, I, I was with Pimp. I only had him in my life 11 months. That one conversation I heard him have with him, he said, you a bitch-ass nigga. Nigga, meet me in Port Arthur if you remember how to get here, bitch. And take your jury off, and we can go in the backyard. And hung up on the nigga. Pimp had four phones. I think Bun might have had one of the numbers. I don't even know if Bun had any of them after that day. Mm. Them holy 11 months, they did one show as UGK, and that was in Dallas. And they ain't speak to each other the whole time or nothing. We came up on the right side of the stage, Bun in the middle finger. Middle fingers came up on the left side of the stage. So you got Pimp and UGK records coming up on the right side, Bun and the middle fingers coming up on the left. Them niggas rocked that bitch. Ain't even had to speak to each other. They've been doing it for so long, the chemistry is there. Right. Show over, Bun leave off that side, we leave off the other side. We get home that night. We drove from Dallas that night. We didn't even stay in Dallas. We drove back to Houston. I watched my nigga cry. I watched him shed tears behind Bun. Mm. Then Jeezy come to Houston. We go to the Jeezy concert. Bun happened to be there. Bun, his wife, Jay, and his wife, Pimp, his wife, my little ass, Pimp cousin, Eddie Rabbit. This why the whole Jeezy shit going on. So Jeezy, like, he didn't end the show like niggas normally end the show. He kind of, like, finished the song and just... That nigga left DJ Drama. That shit was funny as a motherfucker. So Jeezy, then boom, exited the building. Bun runs outside and, and is with Jeezy. So we get back to the high rise that night. I'm watching my nigga cry again over Bun. Because he like, damn, nigga, you like, everybody know I'm going at this nigga. And even though you want to stay, you know, mutual, you can't stay by my side while we in H Town, nigga. While we in, while we at home. So I'm watching him cry behind him, then. So when Pim pass away, yeah, he a power bear. I'm a power bear, whatever. But what makes y'all feel like just because Pimp would have forgave him? Y'all know if Pimp would have lived, he would have forgave him. They would have worked it out, and like they always did. But what makes you think I have to, homie? I'm not pimp. I ain't grow up with you. All I know is you hurting a nigga I love. So what would you do if somebody was hurting a nigga you love, nigga? What would you do if somebody was hurting the nigga who saved your life? What would you do if somebody was hurting the nigga that, that yeah, you love this nigga like your brother? What would you do? 
I'm not supposed you know, to like him. I'm right. not supposed to like Bun. I'm not supposed to forgive him. Okay, now that's just pimp. That ain't including his tears. I had to watch Mama West cry over the fuck ass shit he was doing. Mama West could still book shows for Bun after Pimp passed away. Bun wouldn't take no shows that Mama West booked because she would get 10%. He ain't want to make no money off him. But you lived Ooh. with her, nigga. She managed y'all for 17 years. You know how many times I had to wipe tears from her face? And y'all think I'm supposed to forgive this nigga or think something about this nigga? So, nigga, if y'all don't I'm, understand I'm why I don't like that nigga, right why I don't respect that nigga, hold up. If y'all don't understand why I don't like that nigga, why I don't right. respect that nigga, and why I don't have to, then you's a bitch-ass nigga. I know how to separate Dude. the man from the music. I know how to separate the man from the artist. If I want to go listen to a right. Bun B song I like, I'll listen to that bitch. But I never give right. him no respect as a man. Nigga, you a hoe to me. And if you can't understand what the fuck I just said, then you's a bitch-ass nigga. Ain't no loyalty in you. 